Cal, BHP UK. And on the dyno today, we've got a, a bike that we've had a lot of requests for. It is the Honda Africa Twin, the new 1100 Euro 5 version. Um, Honda have had to increase the capacity by 100 cc's to try and get the, the same power with the Euro 5 em, uh, emissions regulations. So we've got one here. It has come fitted with the SC project. It's a standard Honda issue. Uh, on this particular bike. Uh, we're gonna get it strapped up on the dyno, get the base runs done, find out how it's fueling, what handle have done to, to compromise its performance to get it through the Euro 5 emissions regulations. So the Honda Africa Twin 1100, what did we manage to do with it? Well, the stock bike is actually advertised as making 100 brake horsepower at the crank. Well, this particular example actually made 95 at the back wheel. I don't know why Honda would under advertise the power it makes, but it seems that they have been doing so. As a comparison to the old one litre bike, the good one litre bikes used to make about 85 brake horsepower at the back wheel. This is making an extra 10 to start with. Now, with the later Euro 5 bike, it really is compromised by the lean fuel running here. Uh, just to show you how lean the bike actually is uh, and where it is lean, uh, we've put all the plots here from, all the runs here from 25, 50, 75 and 100%. As you can see, at 100% above 5,000 RPM, the bike is actually okay, but below that, it's actually running at Lambda 1. At 75% throttle, it becomes, starts reaching up at 6,000 RPM. Uh, and below that again is Lambda 1 and at 50% throttle up to 7,000 RPM the bike is actually lean and below, below 7,000 it's Lambda 1 again. At 25% throttle we've got the fueling exactly where we want it and you can see there's actually a very good separation between the modified files and the stock bike. At 50% we've got the fueling again exactly where we wanted it. Uh, it is significantly richer than the stock bike uh, and you can see here below 6,000 RPM that makes quite a big difference where the bike is lean below 6,000 RPM, you can actually see there's quite a difference between the power delivery. At 100%, we've gone up from 95 brake horsepower to 75. At the top end, the fueling didn't need as much modification, but below 5,000 RPM, we did actually do quite a little bit of work to that. This bike is available on our ECU flasher. If you're not local to us, this is a device that lets you read and write your own bike. You send a file across to one of our map writers and they'll do your modified file taking into account any modifications you've got on your bike. We really hope you're enjoying what we bring you to the channel. Please do hit the bell icon and the subscribe button. It really does help us out and it keeps you notified of any new Honda content that we bring you to the channel.